नमस्कार डिफेंस एस्पिरेंट स्वागत है त्रिशूल डिफेंस एकेडमी के यूट्यूब चैनल पे और सबसे बड़ी बात स्वागत है ब्रिगेडियर सर की दूसरी वीडियो के साथ अभी तक आपने सुना था पिछली वीडियो में मैंने बताया था ब्रिगेडियर अमर सर नामर नारायण सर का एक छोटा सा ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एस्पिरेंट अगर आपने वो वीडियो नहीं देखी है तो प्लीज उसका लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिया हुआ है उस वीडियो को जरूर जाके देखिएगा आपको पता चलेगा कि सर वॉज अ प्रेसिडेंट विथ सर्विसेज सिलेक्शन बोर्ड अलाहाबाद जी हाँ नाइनटीन एस एस बी अलाहाबाद बोर्ड के प्रेसिडेंट मेरे बगल में बैठे हैं इन इट सेल्फ ये मेरे बड़े गर्व की बात है पूरी त्रिशूल फैमिली के लिए सर सेकेंड सेशन में फिर से स्वागत है थैंक यू वेरी मच आई नो ब्रिगेडियर रैंक ऑफिसर और उनको गुजारिश करना स्टूडियो में आके कि भाई वीडियो बना लो अपने आप में बड़ी चीज है वेरी फ्रेंडली आई मस्ट हैव नो आई एम एंजॉयिंग दिस यू नो कनेक्टिंग विद द कैंडिडेट्स जी बिकॉज़ आई फील आई कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टेल देम व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन एसएसबी एंड आई होप इट विल हेल्प देम सर इसी पे गुजारिश रहेगी कि जो बच्चों के सवाल होंगे प्लीज उसके आंसर्स आप ही दे देना ताकि 100% ऑथेंटिक आंसर्स मिले सर जी तो भाई वीडियो को देखिएगा और कमेंट जरूर करिएगा चलिए सर सर्विसेज सिलेक्शन बोर्ड में इंटरव्यू ऑफिसर का बहुत बड़ा रोल रहता है करें। एक 225 मार्क्स दिए हुए हैं इंटरव्यू ऑफिसर को तो दिस इन इटसेल्फ सेज कि भाई इंटरव्यू ऑफिसर बहुत जरूरी रैंक का अधिकारी है आप लोग जो भी इंटरव्यूज कंडक्ट कराते हैं वो एक पीआईक्यू फॉर्म के बेस पे कराते हैं इस पीआईक्यू फॉर्म को कैसे भरना चाहिए इसमें क्या भरना चाहिए क्या नहीं भरना चाहिए अब जैसे मैं एज आ एस्पिरेंट मैं अपने आप को अपने जर्नी को रिमाइंड करूं तो मैंने एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर में ज्यादा कुछ नहीं किया कहीं ऐसा तो नहीं कि अगर मैं एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर वाले डब्बे खाली छोड़ दूं तो आपकी छवि मेरे लिए गंदी बन जाए इन सारे मिथ्स को प्लीज क्लियर करिए कि आखिर व्हाट इज दिस पी आई क्यू फॉर्म ऑल अबाउटिंग दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो इशू दैट यू है a personal information question here ji yeah. which is something akin to a cv as you said ji yeah. which we normally fill before we go for any other interview ji yeah. uh, so there is a set pattern which is available uh, on the net and all hmm. and uh, basically what uh, we require the candidates to fill various details acha so uh, you know I, i can you know talk about that in brief hmm. uh, firstly they ask you to you know fill your name hmm. your place of residence hmm. and uh, then uh, you know about your caste and all mm. and then then ask you to uh, fill details about your family mm. so in family your father mother brother sister mm. what is their job profile mm. how much you know income they are earning so mm. that uh, these uh, things you have to fill then they will ask you to uh, fill about your educational qualification mm. uh, starting from you know uh, plus 2 so from plus 2 onwards overall marks that you got mm. what board did you appear any special achievements ji yeah. and after that they'll uh, you know require you to fill your you know individual uh, statistics like your height weight mm-hmm. other things now comes the most uh, important issue the next columns which are there in which firstly they'll ask you to uh, fill you know uh, your uh, achievements in sports or yeah. your interest in sports i may say ji yeah. please fill every sport which you have been playing acha if you play at times i have seen candidates they miss out filling because there is a column in that represented at the school or college level it does not mean that if you have not represented you should not fill no if you have represented very fine write that that i was the captain of a school team or whatever but even if you have not represented you have played a game write that because there as a you know as the interview officer i know that you have been playing this this games this sports you play so you must include all the games and sports which you have you know been participating ji yeah. then there is a call for your hobbies and you know uh, interests which yeah. you are mentioning ji yeah. so any hobby which you have again you must mention ji yeah. uh, some person may be you know uh, having a hobby of singing so maybe having a hobby of dancing or reading books mm-hmm. so you must mention that but i must caution you please for heaven's sake never mention anything which is incorrect Achy. never do that that is one of the biggest mistake you can do the interviewing officers are well trained you will uh, get noticed and caught and that will really go against you you have to be totally honest in filling each and every detail but what i am telling you that if you have played a game if you have some hobbies and interests please fill that okay 
Then uh, there is the next column uh, which uh, asks uh, you to uh, fill out any important assignments which you may have. Again, don't think that even a small assignment is there, uh, you know, which I will not fill. For example, suppose you were appointed as a, uh, say, a house captain Ji. or even a class monitor. Ji. See, a person has appointed you as a class monitor, it means he feels that you are capable of doing that job. Ji. Please fill that because as an interview officer, I know that you have got some you know, appointment in your, in your life where you could you know, uh, achieve something and you are found fit enough. So, so, so achievement so the achievement we have to look at. In a general body, say in a class, you are a class monitor, please feel that. In a house of say 20 boys or 20 girls, you are a, a house captain, please feel that. If you are a, you know, a, a captain of a sports team, please feel that. So you must ensure that anything which you have done which may help you, mm. you must ensure that it is filled up. Okay? Let me see if I have missed out something. Okay, I think I have covered everything. Yeah, uh, there is a column of uh, uh, extra curricular activities. Again, you must fill out uh, everything uh, in your school or even outside the school or college. For example, in your school, you know, beside academic uh, issues, uh, uh, candidates or boys and girls, they do participate in debates or uh, you know dance competitions, any such thing. If you have participated, please fill that. If it outside the school curriculum or in uh, college curriculum, for example, you may have participated in a, uh, say, a Swachita Abhyan in your area. Ji. Please feel that. It gives us a good indication about your interests, your hobbies, your personalities. Okay. And uh, of course, in the end, they'll ask you to fill your uh, chances which you have made for SSBA that has to be factual. So, the uh, issue which uh, I'm trying to highlight is that firstly, ensure that all your details which you have done or participated, you must fill. But as a caution, do not fill anything which you feel is incorrect. Don't fill anything which is wrong. Now, the second question which Abhinav you asked me as to uh, who all uh, within the you know SSB uh, uh, have the access to this PIQ. Uh, PIQ PI from so, uh, two copies of PIQs are, are uh, made uh, candidates. Ji. Now, one goes to the, uh, uh, the interviewing officer, whoever officer is going to interview you, Ji. so he will be given one copy, mm -hmm. and one copy will be given to the psychologist. Psychologist, correct. Sir, interviewing officer ka to samaj aata hai. Bhai, wo us form se poochho ra sabal. Okay. Saamne. Mm -hmm. Psychologist, psychologist ko sir, wo diet, diet, SRT, SDT, wo to kudhi candidates ko address karke chale jayenge. Wo kaun sa one to one interaction rakhte hai. Yeah, yeah, this is again a very important you know, question you asked me and perhaps this must be a doubt in many candidates' mind. Ji. Isn't it? Now, it is very important that a psychologist has got access to this PIQ Ji. because PIQ gives a very rough idea about the candidate. Mm. Yeah, isn't it? Mm. And please understand, psychologists don't see the candidates even for a moment and they still assess you very, very accurately. Ji. So, he has to have some information about the candidate. I will give you an example. Uh, perhaps this will make you understand. For example, you no, know, there is in psychology test, there is a test called a self-description. Yeah. Where you write about you know yourself. Mm -hmm. So suppose a child writes that my you know uh, teachers feel I am very good in the sports and you know they give me responsibility Achha. Achha. of uh, captaining my basketball team. Mm -hmm. But in the PIQ, sport mentioned in you have got you so he will think that there is some contradiction. Is he missed out, you know, by mistake? Or perhaps he is making a false statement in the self description. So it's very important that your PIQ and your you know question answer in the interview and your you know your uh, uh, say self description or any other issues in the psychology they match. So I said if you are honest, if you don't fill out any wrong information, and so they will all match up and you know everything will go right. कहते हैं ना हर चीज के पीछे कुछ लॉजिक होता है और Brigadier Saab ne kitne pyare dhang se aapko bataya ki kaise PIQ form ka logic aapke self description test se match kiya jayega as friends aaj tak aapko ye news nahi mili hogi ye information nahi mili hogi sir thank you so much kehte hai na tajurba matters a president rank jo 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 interviewing officer hai jo president hai services selection board ke wo bari cheezon ka dhyan rakhenge aise mentor ke guidance mein अगर SSB क्लासेस मिलेंगी, so excellence आना ही आना है. Aspirants, sir, एक साल, officer intelligence rating test OIR, PIQ form में ऊपर की तरफ लिखा होता है. 
जहाँ बनते हैं देश के गौरव इंडिया का एकमात्र ऐसा कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट जहाँ कैडेट को ट्रेन किया जाता है आने वाले डिफेंस एग्जाम के अनुसार अगर आपका भी सपना है भारतीय सेना में शामिल होकर देश की सेवा करने का तो आज ही ज्वाइन करें त्रिशूल डिफेंस अकेडमी 